everyone, everyone, my name is Grace, and today I am going to read the Bible story. And from now, we're going to start wonderful story for Kit's Bible story, Old Testament. First, we'll read this Old Testament. Yes, let's read. Now, chapter 1, Creation. God made many things. Genesis chapter 1 to, one to 2. In the beginning, there were nothing. There were no sun. There were, was no moon. There were no stars. I will make the world, God said. So God made the world. I'll make the sun, God said. God made the sun. The sun helps you see things in the daytime. I will make the moon, God said. God made the moon. The moon helps you see things at night. I will make the stars, God said. What do you think he did then? God made many stars. Do you like stars? God made a man and a woman. God made you and me. God made more things too. He made them for you and me. Are you happy that God made everything? Thank you God for making everything. Chapter 2 Temptation of Adam and Eve. Something bad, something sad. Genesis chapter 2 to 3. Adam was Eve's husband. Eve was Adam's wife. They had a good home. They had a good food. They could go anywhere they wanted to go. They could do anything what they wanted to do. They had many good Thanks, and they were very happy. But there was a one thing they couldn't do. You must not eat the fruit on the tree, God said. From a time, Adam and Eve did not eat the fruit from their tree. Satan talked to Eve one day. It's delicious. Try it. It will make you clever, he said. Eve knew that God didn't not want her to eat, the, eat it, but she didn't obey God's world, world and ate the fruit. Adam ate it too. Then Adam and Eve knew that they had done something very bad. They were very sad. God made them go away from their home. He took any he took away their good food. It began to hurt them. We didn't obey God's world. They said it is not good for us to it's it is good for us to listen to God. To the flute and the ark. Noah made a big boat. Genesis 6 to 7. Make a big boat. God said, Yes, said Noah, I will. Noah loved God. Noah obeyed God. He wanted to do what God says. God told Noah how to make the boat. Noah made it, as God said. It took a long, long time. Noah put all kinds of animals on the boat. Then Noah went into the boat. His family went with him. One day, it started rain. It rained and rained and rained. The water went over the house. It went uh, over the trees. 
The water went higher and higher and higher. Soon there were no more people, but Noah and his family were safe in the boat. Noah obeyed God, so God took took care of Noah. Thank you, God. Noah said one day. Noah thanked God for taking care of his family and him. He thanked God for taking care of his family. He thanked God for taking care of animals. Thank you, God, for taking care of me. Num chapter four, Noah worshipped God. A time to say thank you. Genesis chapter eight. There was water all over the world. But Noah and his family were safe. God told Noah to make a big boat. He told Noah to take his family on the big boat. He told Noah to take all the animals too. God was truly taking care of them all. They were in the boat for many days. One day Noah looked out. The water was all gone. God had taken it away. We must thank God for helping us," said Noah. Noah and his family thanked God. God was pleased with them. God showed them a rainbow. You will see the rainbow and many times," said God. It is a promise that I will not destroy the whole world with water. Noah was happy with God's promise. God made Noah and his family and the animals happy. Chapter five. Abraham sacrificed Isaac. Abraham obeyed God. Genesis chapter twenty-two. Abraham worshipped. God. He prayed to God. He wanted to please God. Abraham was God's friend. One day, God told Abraham, "Put your son Isaac on an altar." God said, "He will die there." Abraham was very sad. He didn't not didn't want his son to die, but. God said he must do this. What should Abraham do? Abraham knew what he must do. He must obey God. So Abraham put Isaac on the altar. But God didn't did not let Isaac die. Stop! God said. Do you? Do not want Isaac to die now. I know, I know, I know now. I now, I sir, I know you that you really obey me and trust me. Abraham was very happy. He went with Tom as with Isaac. Are you happy that Abraham obeyed God? Chapter six: Jacob's dream. Jacob saw a ladder. Genesis chapter twenty-seven to twenty-eight. Jacob had a very sad. Jacob was very sad. He had to run from, away from home. He had to go far away. Jacob walked all day. He walked far from home. Then he stopped. It was time to sleep. At that night, Jacob had a dream. He saw a ladder. It went all up the heaven. Angels went up and down the ladder. Then God talked to Jacob. I will go with you. God said, "I will help you."
Jacob stopped the dream, dreaming and sat up. God was here, he said, and God will go with him. Jacob was happy. He wanted God to go with him. He wanted God to help him. Yes, next time I will read chapter 7. God helped Joseph. Genesis chapter 33, uh, 37 to 41. Yeah, did you enjoy? And next time I will read another story. Then bye! Let's see you next time!